You're watching Telecom TV from ONS North America 2018 in Los Angeles. And I'm joined now by Luis Gomez Palacio from Lumina Networks. Luis, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. What sorts of companies should be considering open source SDN? Yeah, for those companies or enterprise delivering open source based solution, the most challenging thing probably is uh, integration, integration with existing uh, components and other solutions, because everything that is open source is normally a standard, and not everything is a standard in the, the, uh, in the deployment. So that's why the integration is very important. The second is uh, support. I mean, you need to support these solutions, uh, write documentation around it, and this has an extra work. So how does Lumina Network start to engage with the customer? Yeah, so Lumina will have a very straight approach. We first try to understand from the customer what they are looking for from SDN point of view. Uh, second, we, because we have some experience in open source, we recommend which component open source can be used or they are more stable, less stable. I mean, we kind of recommendation. And then finally, we go in a agile development process to get something done very quickly so we can show that things actually work. So give me an example of the process. Yeah, with some particular customer, we have an example where we meet with them for, a, I think it was a couple of weeks, just to uh, design all the solution together, based in open source. Then after some talks, uh, we went and do uh, prepare some kind of prototype for two months, very basic uh, functionality, only API basic implementation. And after that, they were, uh, you know, it was up to show something. And from there, you can work on making something that is more production and ready for, for the best. In terms of deployments, what are the challenges of using open source? So, in terms of deployments, I think that the, yeah, I think for deployment, the, the challenge is always, I, I commented this a little before, the challenge is, more, is mostly the um, integration and the support. So, first is the integrate an open source solution. You need to spend your cycle, you know, testing and, and interrupting with the devices that are multi vendor in, in most of the cases. And then the second is uh, that you have to support an open source solution that normally means you have to have a very, uh, very strong uh, relation or link with the Astrid community to support these things. And how does Lumina help overcome these challenges? Yes, yeah, so Lumina, we have uh, uh, engineers and developers, what we call NetDev, which they have a mix of networking and also uh, integration uh, skills as well as they can develop software. On top of that, we have open source engineers that they work Astrid. So whenever there is a problem, we go and, and you know, we put whatever fix in the Astrid community. And what are the main benefits of using open source? Well, open source, come back again, I think it's, it's, it's open, it's very flexible, so you, you can build a lot of things on top of it. And then second and most important is it's a an, it's an standard made of uh, multi-vendor contribution. So the multi-vendor is, is, is the standard and also the support. So you have multiple support for multiple companies. If open source is so difficult, why do people use it? Well, the thing, this is a, like a long-term investment. So now you need to invest a lot of time, you know, getting in the communities, in the open source, working there, getting something done. Eventually, over time, you will see the benefits, which is all the standardization, all the multi-vendor, all the openness and the flexibility. And how do partnerships fit into this picture? Yeah, so open source is all about multi-vendor, we mentioned before. So it's very key that you have your partner relation because, you know, it's not anymore one big company providing the entire thing. Now you have to uh, partner with Adam Bendo to provide the full solution. So good relation with them and you can get something. It's a win-win. Will deploying open source get easier over time? And if so, how? Yeah, so open source will get easier by doing more deployments based in the open source in the R network so that we fix more issues. And then by doing that, things get less need to support. The second thing is the mature as well of the open source communities that as long as they go with the time, they get more stable products and you can consume them in a, in a better way. Lewis, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Yeah, thank you.